Hello guys, I'm Cambridge Rory, or Cambridge English Teacher Rory, from studentlanguages.com. And in today's video, I'm going to be critiquing a student's CPE essay, that's C2 Proficiency Essay. So let's dive straight in and have a look at the question. So this question has come from Objective Proficiency 2nd Edition by Kathleen Sharp, 2013. So the question reads, read the two texts below, which contain complementary ideas on the status of music in society. Express these ideas in sentences using your own words. So the first thing we should do is read text one and text two together. So I will read these out loud. Text one. Music is something that we perhaps take for granted in our daily lives particularly when it exists in the form of background music in public places or advertising jingles. And with the huge availability of downloadable music, we now have ready access to whatever we desire. However, do we as a society take music as seriously as we should? Professional musicians are highly skilled individuals, yet many of them struggle to find regular work, and their talent is seldom recognised. In most countries, they receive no state support, and many are forced to abandon a career in music altogether. What a waste. Okay, text two. Music has been downgraded in importance in our schools, and is often the first subject to be withdrawn from the curriculum, with more and more emphasis placed on core subjects. Yet, research has shown that those who learn music from a young age benefit in different ways. Music lessons are creative and engage, uh, engage children in a collaborative activity that has a real outcome. Even if parents are reluctant to contribute additional funding for instruments, they will usually come to see their offspring perform in the school concert. Let's give music back the status it deserves in education. Okay, now if you don't know uh, the marking criteria for C2, for the C2 writing exam, C2 proficiency writing exam, um, then you should have a look at this website here, Cambridge English uh, Teacher Guide for Writing, C2 proficiency, and on page 12 there's a good uh, analysis of these criteria. And there are four main criteria, which is content, communicative achievement, organisation and language. So I will be um, critiquing this student's answer based on uh, that information. I will also be um, finding mistakes and correcting them throughout and making comments, of course, in this video. So here we go. Let's have a look. This is the original answer. Actually, I'm going to uh, make my comments and changes on this answer with corrections. So humans and music. The love of music has been deeply ingrained in our psyche. Ingrained is a good word to use. I like that. And the psyche is a good word to use. Okay. It is an undeniable fact that music has permeated every layer of societies and the significance of it cannot be overstated. Okay, some good words here again. Permeated is good. It's not a common word, so it's good. And uh, permeated every layer. It's, it's a nice phrase. But I would say of society, singular. That's what Google tells us as well. Uh, I wouldn't trust Google all the time. Sometimes it makes mistakes. So better to trust me or another teacher. But always question. It's always good to question your teachers because maybe they're wrong sometimes. And if they're a good teacher, they won't mind you asking questions. So, the f that, so it is an undeniable fact. Okay, you know that that's another good phrase that music has permeated every layer of society and the significance of it cannot be overstated. Okay. However, we have a divergent view of its educational role. Okay. Divergent view of its educational role. So let's have a look at what it says up in these parts here. Remind ourselves of this. It doesn't really talk about education here. Uh, to roll in education in text one. 
But in text two, it does. I remember it talking a lot about that in text two. Just wondering, so it says, read the two texts below, which contain complementary ideas on the state of music. So express these ideas in sentences. Yeah, I feel like if that maybe shouldn't be the main point of the first paragraph. Like, it feels to me, well, no, okay, so it's not all about this. No, it's not all about this. Okay, I think it's okay, because I was thinking, is this the main part of the uh, paragraph? Is that the main idea? But it's not the, the, the idea of about music in general. So, yeah, so I think it's okay. Um, and I like some of the language, so I'm going to immediately write a few comments. Um, there are several uh, less common words and phrases used throughout the essay. I'm just saying that already throughout, even though we've only read the first paragraph. I'm assuming, and we will see later on if that proves true. So, for example, ingrained. Psyche. Uh, permeated. Divergent. Good words. Okay. First and foremost, music has always invariably been the inherent part of human society. Okay, so we can just say being the inherent, inherent part of human society. You don't need to say humans. You can just say human society. Uh, and has invariably been, I would say, an inherent part rather than the inherent. That's what Google says as well, as you can see. But yeah, I would say it has been an inherent part because the means that there are no other inherent parts. Right? That's the only one. Um, Whereas an says it's one inherent part, and, and there are other, it suggests that there are also other inherent parts, which I think is more accurate because there are other inherent parts of human society. So first and foremost, it's a nice phrase. Music has al always invariably been the been an inherent part of human society. Okay. And it accompanied human beings since the dawn of times. Okay, so it's probably better to say it has accompanied because um, it, until now and including now and probably in the future. So this is a time period which hasn't finished. So it's better to use present perfect. Um, so we've already we've got a few language errors that we're seeing wrapping up here. So uncountable nouns, um, present perfect, and articles. And if we have a look at what the uh, what it says over here in language column, wide range of vocabulary, use of grammar is sophisticated, fully controlled, and completely natural. Any inaccuracies only occur as slips. Okay, so slips is like one-offs, um, and we will see when they are one-offs. But my inclination is that they are not. Uh, maybe that fits better into this one. It uses a wide range of simple and complex grammatical forms with full control, flexibility, and sophistication. Okay, so I'm not sure I would quite say it's full, fully controlled because of the mistakes. So, related to less common words and structures, or a go slip here. Okay, so present perfect is quite a common word and structure as well. So, I'm probably going to be thinking at the moment grammar is down in this section, one or two. But let's go back and have a look. Continue. It's the dawn of times. Okay, so yes, um, we should just say since the dawn of time. Time is like one idea, I suppose, rather than several different times. Just one idea, the dawn of time. It's a nice phrase, the dawn of time. Our troglodyte ancestors rejoiced a successful hunt at their safe haven. Yeah, we normally say rejoiced in. 
say there. It's Google. And rejoiced in a successful hunt at their safe haven. Yeah. I feel like you should put with music in this sentence to make it clear with or through with songs with chants or yeah just to be more specific a historical agreement is often crowned with musical festivals night initiation coincided with loud music to emphasize yeah i don't know why that's it's probably it's probably wanting me to use american english with a z because your document like kind of set to american english yet with a z um you can use British English or American English. You just have to be consistent between which one you choose in the exam. So we're going British here. Night initiation coincided with loud music to emphasize the importance of the event. Okay. Yeah. Apart from the inele inelu ineluctable, <laughs> difficult for me to say that word, ineluctable value of music in our community, we are capable we are capable of expressing our feelings listening to a song at an individual level also okay this takes a bit of reading a sentence so okay I don't know why it's by listening, okay. Yeah, maybe it would be clearer to say by listening, I suppose. I don't think it's necessary. Um, but that's what Google says. We can go with it. it it's okay to put it so. Um, but I feel like this sentence needs more. Like it could be its own idea in a separate paragraph. Um, it's, it's not a specific example like these ones above. So I feel like it's a little bit out of place. I'm interested to see what's next. Moreover, it will come as no surprise to you that music has been deemed as a universal language. Yeah, okay, so... Let's carry on. While listening to an opera, for instance, Mozart's Don Juan, a person does not need to understand its language to comprehend the story and the character's feelings. Yeah, suffice it to say that music transcends cultural and language boundaries. Yes, it does. Yeah. I feel like there's a couple of different ideas going on in this paragraph, as I sort of mentioned earlier. I would maybe um, separate this from this. Um, it's an inherent part of human society. Okay. It's used at these events. Okay. Very valuable in our community. Okay. It's got a universal language here, yeah. or maybe even this could be a separate idea that it's a universal language. Um, I feel like it could just generally be be structured in a slightly better way, in a slightly different way. Because I, yeah. Let's go. So this is, and re let's remember about the question. So, just below, express these ideas in sentences using your own words. Okay. Well, this is all about like people's talents not being uh, recognized and them not being rewarded enough for their work. So I don't really feel like we've talked about yet. Um, it's And this is more about its importance in schools and, and, and that it should be used more in education. Which again, this uh, paragraph, it's not... It's not it's not really talking about those two main ideas. It's saying that music's important, but it's not linking it to education or the fact that the people who make the music aren't um, paid well or, or can't even do it for a job. And I think those are the two main points from the text. So I would say that the content of that paragraph isn't really as accurate as we would like it to be. Um, I'll call it the first main paragraph, not the introduction, but the paragraph after that. 
Um, I want to remind myself about the introduction again. So, yeah, I mean, this is about education, so that's okay. Uh, you're kind of missing, I feel like, the point about it not being um, this first text, because it's, it's more about professional musicians not being um, given enough money for their work. Uh, this she might talk about later, I don't know yet. Um, perhaps we take it for granted, no, I don't know. It's okay, it's talking about that bit a bit at the beginning. Um, I just want to quickly check if you're going to talk about the other part. Okay, so you are going to go on to talk about that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like so maybe in the maybe in the um in the introduction you could you could say more than just this. You could say more than just the fact um it has a role in education, but also about the artists themselves, linking it to the first text. So I would the first main paragraph, okay, it's okay, I think. Um it's a little bit higgledy piggledy, which I'm doing communicative achievement. Um the introduction could be broadened. Uh, to include some information about the artists um, relating it more to the first text, I'll say that. And ignore this thing about the first main paragraph, and I'll put something here about it. The first main paragraph, um, I, th I think that it could be just structured slightly better, maybe focusing on one of these main ideas, one of the three. Uh, rather than all of them might be a bit better in developing that one main idea might be better Stru actually this would probably be in well a little bit linked to organization as well could be structured in a slightly uh, better way in order for it to have a clear purpose that's essentially it's the organization in terms of using linking words and stuff, apart from moreover, first and foremost, that's quite good uh, language wise. So, um, it has a good range of words and phrases which are used um, to, to link different ideas together. I just feel like it's the ideas themselves should, it shouldn't necessarily be linking different ideas, but should be linking different parts of a singular idea, if that makes sense. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to carry on reading that to myself. So, Let's move on to this. Secondly, apart from the unbridled joy of music, appreciation we can derive, music plays an important role in the school curriculum. Okay. Studying artistic, yeah, spelling mistake. Artistic subjects are often thought Studying artistic subjects are often thought to divert young people from positive trajectory career with hefty income to all intents and purposes. It's a tangible fear from financial insecurity that compel many teachers and parents to... Okay, this is a long sentence um, and not so easy to follow. So, we, can, we should break it down, I think, to make it easier. Studying artistic subjects are often thought to divert young people from... Pro from positive trajectory career with hefty income to all intents and purposes. Okay, so firstly I would say maybe a word here like away, divert young people away from positive, and I wouldn't say positive trajectory career, I would say maybe just from um, career paths. So I don't think this positive trajectory adds anything and I think it just confuses it. So from career paths with hefty incomes with an S. Just 
for all intents and purposes. Yeah, and maybe I would remove this part. I don't think it's, again, I don't think it's adding anything. I think it just confuses the idea of the sentence a bit. Hefty incomes. Okay, I would probably put a full stop here. So these artistic subjects are thought to divert young people away from positive career paths with hefty incomes. Okay, I mean, hefty is a little bit informal word for a for an essay. Um, put something about that in the language. Um, it's a, it's not a very common word, so you'd be able to, you know, I think it mentions actually in this language area about grammar. Okay, let's comment. Fix them precisely. Uh, errors is less common, so it would be more falling into this three category rather than a slip, because I don't think it is a slip. Um, words and phrases are slightly too informal for an essay. For example, hefty. Um, And this, yeah, we need to break this I'll carry on breaking it down and I'll make some comments. So let's start a new sentence here. It is the tangible fear from financial insecurity that compel, that compels, because it's a f one singular fear we're talking about, I think it's best to see, that that singular fear compels third person. Many teachers and parents, it's interesting that's thrown uh, because it's because of my little apostrophes. Many teachers and parents to dissuade pupils from learning music. Okay. Not okay. It's better. This is better now. We've broken it down. Um, I got to say something about the. Um, um, in other parts of the essay. Let's just go back and see if that's. I mean, yeah, I don't know if this is necessarily accurate content for what they're talking about above in these texts. Do they talk about. Talking about education. Uh, in most countries, they receive this. Many are forced to abandon a career. I think afterwards, rather than in the education system. Mm. Yeah, I don't think this is exactly what you're saying. I think you're saying that um, People are dis students are dissuaded from doing it because it's not going to proper career path. But the core subjects don't necessarily do that either. Like maths doesn't necessarily lend itself or history. I would say they're core subjects. So I don't think that this is a exactly accurate content. Um, they don't really mention the income part of it, for example, or the financial insecurity part of it, for example, in that second text. It's more just saying that they're diverted core subject it doesn't necessarily say why so I'm not sure all of the parts of this essay are, are uh, relevant it's not necessarily relevant or necessary and what you could do is then instead of you could swap some of this information depending on the word limit <clears throat> to adding something more oomph to some of these ideas that you had above. Anyway, okay. Um, that's when you people from learning music. Notwithstanding the negative connotation of artists, I think it will be of an artist. The negative connotation of, yeah, maybe an artist would be better. Artists with misery and good word connotation. Good word. With misery and poverty, many students opt for yeah, a career in music, I would say, but 
yeah, okay. And it's okay. Let's see, it's still up for a career music, for a music career. It must have been said that music is in, is capable of improving people's cognitive abilities, and there are a sheer amount of research to prove that bold claim. It must have been said. Must it have been said that? Is that what these guys say? Research has shown. Um, okay. I feel like it must have been said as a little bit. Um, I would say something different. I would say something like um, music is capable. Simply that would be fine. It must have been said. Sounds almost like there's doubt in that. Like someone, some one person said this several years ago. But, you know, why should we believe that that one person? Um, so, yeah, I would just, I would actually remove it. I think it's better to just start from music is capable of improving people's cognitive abilities. And there are, and there is, uh, if you talk about an amount of research, it's uncountable, it's better to say there is a sheer amount, which is good. Okay, and there we go, of research to prove that bold claim. Okay, okay. Again, I, I, I don't think we need to actually say this. You could just start this sentence from music, and there is a lot of... If you want to say someone else said it, then you could say... It must have been said that I suppose it would be okay, but I think it's better just to say that like this, that that is the case, and that there's research to prove that. Not only does music console our distressed mind, excuse me, but it is able to awaken our dormant talents and heighten our awareness. Okay. What kind of music should be taught in school is open to debate. It's a good phrase. But don't, didn't, by dint of the spread of social media. I don't know this expression, dint of. Um, I'll keep reading. By dint of the spread of social media, today's up to the minute songs. I don't know what this phrase means either. Do you mean like, Modern songs, I think maybe you mean modern songs, easily win the heart, probably should be hearts of millions of young people all around the world. Okay. I would maybe say just by the spread of social media or by the use of social media. I mean, I'm maybe, maybe because I'm an old guy and I don't know, this could be a phrase which I'm not aware of. By the spread of social media, by the spread of social media, Today's up to the minute songs. I would think I would just say modern songs. Easily win the heart. That's probably what Google's going to say here. Of millions of young people all around the world. There are strong, yeah, there, either there is a strong preference or there are strong preferences for songs. Um, let's just change it to is because it's easier right now and it's fine to say that so there is a strong preference for songs which have more relevancy in today's world yeah I would remove this comma because the part after which which is do with relative clauses is is relevant and necessary to add information to this so it's a necessary part of the information which means it's a uh, not necessary or we shouldn't put the comma before which have more relevancy in today's world. Yeah, I think I agree with Google here as well. I'd say probably more relevance. In today's world. Nevertheless, older people or purists, I think we want to put a thing again. So what I suspected about some things like uncountable errors and stuff, that they're not just slips, they are errors, has... Uh, has come true, which is why I think at the moment I'm thinking language is 
probably only going to be around about two. Content I also think is probably around a two because some parts I don't think are really accurate and the problem is quite a few of these are connected so like organization the building of a paragraph from beginning to end and its structure I maybe I'm being a bit harsh on that one um, like my critique about the first paragraph and separating some of those ideas but my feeling is that it's you know maybe it could have a three but I think I'm going to give it two And we can have a look quickly at how this paragraph is put together to help us with that, so organization-wise. Uh, we start by talking about the appreciation of music. Important. It's important for schools. Um, some negative connotations of misery and poverty. And then how it improves our abilities. What kind of music should be taught in schools? Obviously. Let's have a look at these two texts again. So this is about lessons. This is about the poverty and stuff. So kind of talking about both of them. Maybe what I would do is um, spend the first paragraph talking about the first text and the second paragraph talking about the second text. Now I see that you've tried to separate in terms of music being important as your first main idea and then it being connected to um, profession and schools in your second main paragraph but I feel like those two ideas of the professional thing and the school thing are slightly different um, and therefore maybe three paragraphs would be better one about the importance of it in general then about the uh, uh, relation to um, schools and another one about the relation to professional musicians and artists struggling. So that would be one way of doing it, or analyse the first text in one paragraph, sorry, and analyse the second text in the other paragraph. I think that would be better. And that's why I'm keeping the organisation at a two rather than a three. Nevertheless, older people or purists are adamant to consume traditional music, okay? In conclusion, music is part and parcel of our daily lives. Although putting, it's, it's a nice phrase, this, it's a little bit informal also, part and parcel of our daily lives. I remember mentioning something about informal and hefty. Here we go for it. Um, it's more like what we would say to each other rather than what we would write in an essay. Although putting unwavering attention on academic subjects is unquestionable, because they're talking about the attention here, not the subjects. Putting unwavering attention is unquestionable. I am inclined to believe that we should reevaluate the role of music in our society. Safely stated, well, I safely state, I think it is right now, the music should be given high priority in our society. Yes, okay. Um, yeah, okay. I'm going to believe that we should reevaluate the role of music in our society. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would just remove that. Yeah, I think this conclusion is fine. I think, it's, I think it's fine, um, but there is some work to do in the parts above, which I feel like I've already given a fairly good summary of what those parts are um, through my talking as much as anything else in this video. Um, I just don't know what else I can add really other than something for communicative achievement. Um, I could add a little bit of information to try and sum up my ideas, which kind of puts here, which is uh, that the the overall um, points could be improved through 
So we're having a, a different structure, I think. For example, um, having th or using or having three uh, main paragraphs talking about, firstly, the importance of music in our society. Secondly, and I'll put firstly, secondly, because it make it a bit clearer. Um, how music affects professionals, for example. Or music and its relation to professionals. What, what the workplace. And thirdly, music and its relation to education. And I think if I did that, the community of achievement would be improved because the organization would be improved. So the points, I think on an individual level, the points that you're making, most, not all of them are necessary or accurate, as I've mentioned here, but, but they're put across okay. And they and, and, and if you change a few things, like making them more specific and more relevant, and also having a having a, a different structure, a different organization, I think that these three things would would all improve. Um, yeah, and that would and that would end up resulting in a higher mark. The, to put the language up. There's a few things. Uh, have a look through through the mistakes I made for the common ones, <clears throat> and if you can improve them, hopefully that will that will knock the language up to a three as well. Uh, but yeah, C C two proficiency that's strict and it's harsh. It's a, that's why it's proficiency. That's why it's the highest level of exam. So I hope that these uh, that this video was useful. I hope you learned something. Um, I try to be harsh because I think that's probably the it's better to be harsh and uh, show you areas where you can improve than to be lenient and say, oh, you know, and get your hopes up and say that you'll pass when maybe it's not. And I just try to be truthful. So, uh, sorry, this should be 24. Um, so you need to average. So, yes, so you'd need 12 rather than 8. So you need to just knock them all up by one point each. And then I think you'd be in a much better position. So, uh, yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I've been Cambridge Rory or Cambridge English Teacher Rory from studentlanguages.com. Adios.